Hey everybody and welcome back to what could well be the very last part of Win Limbo. Let's see how far we get this time. So it is it is absolutely freezing here at the moment. I'm wearing like three layers. I've got a hat on. I would be wearing gloves if I didn't need my fingers for moving around and stuff. Which has got me thinking about um, temperature in Limbo. It's not something I really noticed so far, but um, I feel like Limbo always gives this sense that the the temperature is slightly uncomfortable. I think it's just part of the sort of the hostile nature of the world. I don't know if that's intentional by the developers. I don't know if that's something that I'm reading into. But the when I think back on the the outdoor sections, um, when we when we started the storm and the rain came down, suddenly everything got the impression it was so sort of very cold, damp, uncomfortably so. Not not freezing, not dangerous, just uncomfortable. And here we've got a sort of the, the haze kind of with the, the industrial setting. It kind of gives a sense of steam um, and an uncomfortable heat to everything. Again, I, I don't know if that's intentional. It could well be just me reading into it now that I've got this freezing temperature on my mind. I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. Not that. Okay, so we've got to get up to that top platform. Let me show you why we've got to get up to that top platform. We have to flip that switch up there. So this door here will open. And we can go on a journey. Okay. I think that was timed incredibly badly. Yep. So I just I cannot remember what the timing would be in this bit. As I've mentioned before, Limbo usually does a, a pretty good job of saying, look, if you just push it to the very far end and start there. We will take from that. So yeah, I wonder... Okay, it needs to reach its peak while this thing is on its way back. Very nearly died then. We need to reach its peak while this thing is on its way back this way so that we can jump onto it and jump pretty much straight back off again onto the top there, so... Let's try... Let's, let's wait for it to get all the way back across that side. And start now. And that was, that was not it. I don't really enjoy these puzzles so much when you've kind of worked out what you're supposed to do. And I think that was done, yeah, it was supposed to be the other way around. Just die, just die. Not intentional, but it'll reset just as fast. I just feel like the early game, the especially the, the spider, that whole section, nearly a first third of the game, tied together so well. I can't even remember if that was what I tried to do last time. Feels like it should have been right. Ok, 
Okay, let's go again. Wait for it to get all the way over to this side. And that, uh, yeah. And let's really hope that I don't miss this. <laughs> oh man, I've forgotten about that. Okay. So this is on a flat plane. So we just need to park that there first. Not going to roll anywhere. And in theory now, should be able to do this first time. Okay, all the way over. Just let it come all the way back. And here we go. I like how light it is when you pull the switch, that big open area, because it just really, really contrasts with this darkness we're heading into. Um, I really like what the game does here, with just this very, very small amount of the screen that you can see. And you actually need to wait to go into complete darkness in order to jump over that to succeed. It's just one of those, one of those times when the game just says, One of those times when the game just asks you to wait, okay, and jump off. Okay, so when that button's pushed down, this area is not safe. That section is not safe there, so what I need to do... is I think probably get momentum on my side. So I'm pushing up this way. Nope. Maybe just run as fast as I can. That's not it at all. That's definitely not it. I'm sure I need to jump off first, because otherwise there's no way of slowing that thing down. And there's no way of getting up there without this thing. So that might work, just as from a little bit closer when I start. That might have given me enough time there. If I jump at the end, yeah. Now this light hanging down here, that's creates a really nice effect, because although I can't remember what's going to happen here, the boulder's very reminiscent of the times when uh, the entire world was turning. That's got the whole uh, magnetized section going on from, that we were dealing with recently. So we know something's going to be very important, and it's bringing a lot of elements of things that have happened recently. So I am excited for this. It's so loud, which is wonderful. And again, 
the light is only showing you a very limited part of the screen. You've got to use a lot of memory, a lot of trust. There we go, that's the first time that we've seen that ladder's there. And I suspect we'd only get one more chance to look at it before that boulder would have crushed us to death. And then we've just had our first glance of this thing here, we had to wait for that. This is still swinging, letting us know everything in the area. This bit here is lighting up every now and then. I suspect I need to drop the crate down, but I can't remember, so we're just going to try jumping and dying. I'm okay with that, because that means I get to do this section again. Again, the thing I'm really paying attention to at the moment, paying attention to at the moment, is just how how much advance warning we get of the the next section that we can get to. So we've just dodged that, and there you go. First time there's a ledge there. Of course, if you run too far, I think this crate will probably fall down and crush you. I think I should probably have fallen down a bit sooner. I like the glow that you get above the lampshade. Just so you get a sense of... I mean, it, it shouldn't really belong there, but... It just provides a little bit more form, lets you know exactly what it is you're looking at. Wait for this to swing backwards so I can see what I'm doing as I fall down here. Ah, there we go. And again, this... Uh, now that I've succeeded past that section, this sort of hopeful tones appeared in the background. I think that maybe um, I'm moving on to better, better area, which is this wonderful trickery because this uh, this tone in the background sounds lovely. Um, you got these dust motes, the little white dots floating very gently, peacefully around there, and oh, by the way, there are these machine guns. Uh, by the way, they will crack you. I think what I'm supposed to do is stand here and destroy that. And this one I can just dodge. And that hopeful sound is gone. Because machine guns appeared. That tire in the background there is so important to give you a sense of timing when this box disappears. So, 
we've got the slope here which will give us some time for this box to drop down what are we trying to do with this thing and I don't know if you saw but there was a sort of a, a line coming up here a, a line of light and it was only the stuff in that section that was affected by the, the gravity pulse. So what I'm trying to do is get up that ladder, I think. which I suspect is going to mean switching off the gravity while well, this thing falls down or oh, actually what I may be trying to do is get that box up to the top the other way that will give me enough time to get over here So that when the gravity now turns off, those little rocks and pebbles and things on the ground are so important as well, just to make it extra obvious when the changes happen. So yeah, I've managed to get up here this way now. Um, there we go. So I think this time no that was that was a mistake It's just a little bit too far. Maybe a little bit further back that way. Don't know why I'm climbing up. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, switch the gravity off, well, change the gravity, run up the top, and grab that box and drag it on so it's now on the top level. And somehow that is going to help me. do that one more time and stand on that this time. There's very little background noise in this section. Which might be so that you can hear that ticking a little bit easier. Might be so you can hear this no, you can't really hear the box sliding down too well. I think it's probably there so that... Oh, damn it, this thing moved. But it's okay. It's okay, we made it. And we've got another little electric hum coming on. Okay. You go down any further? So what have we got? We've got a machine gun aimed at the rope 
holding that thing. We've got a machine gun down there. Which will blow my head off before I get to that ladder, so let's not try that. Bring it down. Back up. I don't really know what... First of all, let's talk about that uh, lovely indent there that lets you know exactly where the, the beam's going to be because it's very difficult to see the laser against the light background. I don't really know what these, what this section says about the, the themes of the game. I don't really know how it ties in. I have a lot of trouble reading the, the ladder section of the game. Because the developers have talked about isolation being a key theme. Uh, sorry, loneliness being a key theme. Isolation, I guess, kind of tie, uh, ties into that. And early on in the game, there's big open empty woods. And there's this one horrible monster chasing you. And all the people who you would normally turn to for support, they're also trying to kill you. Okay, do we want to do this? No, I think we want to probably want to get that up here. Probably actually want to drop that on this. Let's find out. Ah! I should have noticed because there is no ticking sound. Ah, I see. So we're going to use that to get up onto that one. Oh, I think there's another box we need to get onto that one. Yeah, I didn't really notice the fact there's no ticking sound. I love the grass on the ceiling. It's a really weird effect. Didn't really notice there was no ticking sound here. So I, I didn't really, wasn't really paying attention to the fact that... No, nope, now I'm stuck. What am I going to do? Let's, let's take the box all the way along. Drop it down that section. So that seems to be the only thing we can do with it at the moment. Um, which means here I need to be on this side of it. It's, I can't tell if it's intuitive or not that um, the jump button is now down instead of up. So yeah, I could, I could identify the themes much easier in the first section of the game. This section here, I, I don't know what the guns are supposed to say. I don't know if this is going to work. I think, if anything, I've probably just killed myself. Although I might be able to get up right here in time. Yes. Okay, that box is now down here, which doesn't really help us. me up here. Okay, and there is a another on-off gravity section. OK, 
Okay, I think what I need to do is wait until it's got a lot of momentum. Yeah, I remember this section. So what I want to be doing is waiting for the box to pick up momentum so it's still going this way and then just keep turning the gravity on and off so it doesn't actually hit the ceiling. Just like that. And now I have two boxes to play with. I wonder if that would have killed me. Probably. This is Limbo, of course it would have. So let's try this again. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's weird pressing down when I'm when I mean to jump because I'm so used to pressing up to jump. In fact, if you've been watching me controlling this so badly, you probably see it. I've been pressing control to jump and up to use things and getting the buttons wrong all the time. So it shouldn't come too much of a surprise that I can't get used to pressing down to jump. How far we got left? So I might leave it there for that for, for this session. I might split it into two more episodes. So we just got through that. We just got through that area. Just survived that. I think this is where we just got to, and it looks like we'll be entering this section next. Yeah, so there's five sections of all. Yeah, I think I might call it there for, for this episode. A little bit shorter than usual. But I am finding I've just got a, a lot less to say about the, the design of the game and the, the narrative in these later sections. Still really enjoying it. It's a wonderful, wonderful game, this one. I'm really looking forward to uh, Playdate's new game that they just teased, teased the first image of a couple of days ago. So again, thanks for watching, and please join me next time for what really, really, really will be the, the last episode in this playthrough.